when the Georgia High School Association reclassified its member schools in 2016. Some regions shrunk, but Region 8A did not. Instead, it added Riverside Military to bring the number of participating schools to 10. The change means there aren't many opportunities for surprises when it comes to scheduling. Nine region games are locked in, leaving just one open spot to fill. It seems like an easy task, just find one game. But there's a purpose to that slot. It can be a challenge or a trip. It can preserve a rivalry or produce a needed boost in revenue. With the Class A power ranking system, the game can have an impact on a playoff spot. But it's really a chance to get better, as a team or when it comes to the bottom line, before region play settles in. With that one game, we're just trying to look for a game, uh, and I think everybody's a little different, but I mean, everybody's looking for a game that we feel like we can be competitive in. Uh, it's nice if you can get a, a, a double A or triple A or quad A or further up school that allows you uh, the opportunity that if you are fortunate enough to get a W, that it can help you with some points in the power rankings. I mean, it's one of the factors we deal with in single A football. But I think you're just looking for a good competitive gate. Uh, it is getting tougher and tougher to find those games in single A. Um, to be able to find a, a good gate, a competitive game, and a good opportunity for your kids before you go into your, your nine in Region 8A. All four area coaches in Region 8A take different approaches to filling the vacancy. Athens Christian will play at Monticello next week. Athens Academy coach Josh Alexander tries to find a way for his team to travel a little bit and get used to a road trip. The Spartans wrap up a home-and-home -home series with Walker on Friday. We like to travel, um, which goes against a lot of people. You know, For instance, last year we played Walker, which was in Cobb County, and we drove to Cobb County opening the season, but we felt like we'd make that. I think a team has to learn how to travel. You know, there's a there's some science to traveling, you know, learning how to get on a bus, how to get off a bus, do a walkthrough, also eat and do those things together, um, and where you can also play to the best of your ability. So we traveled to Walker, but then right there in the second round of the playoffs last year, we went right back up there to play Mount Parent. We felt like we were prepared for that area, in that area for travel. So. Commerce coach Michael Brown looks for a good gate, which usually means booking a nearby opponent, possibly a rival, that will bring a crowd. The Tigers will play Banks County next week. Well, we try, we try our best to get a local team that we can maybe get a gate on. And, uh, you know, it's tough. Uh, we we uh, in this last go round, we actually had two, and then the you know the inclusion of Riverside eliminated one of those. So you know, we've just tried to to maintain some of the the old rivalries here. Uh, it's just kind of getting harder and harder to do that, but. You know, we, we hope we can at least get a scrimmage and a, and a game with, with two of them. Greg Vandegrift arrived at Prince Avenue Christian last season at the start of a two-year agreement with Aquinas, which wraps up Friday in Augusta. Thing where we're rolling into our, the second year of a two-year contract, so I really, it was all set before I got here. So, uh, you know, if they don't change the region, we'll get the opportunity to choose one game next year, and I guess, you know, we'll base it off of how good we think we're going to be or how good are those people around us and who wants to play you. So, you know, there's always some things factoring in. So, so we'll judge that when uh, time comes, probably about next February or March.